Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss two topics. These two topics have been added recently to the GATE syllabus in the year 2016. And uh, with these two topics, you can expect at least one to two marks in your GATE exam. So first, vertical photogrammetry. So what is photogrammetry? Photogrammetry is where you will find the dimensions of an object or an area with respect to the photograph given to you. So a vertical photogrammetry means you are taking the photo in the vertical direction. Say you are flying in an airplane, this is an airplane and you have a camera here. Let us say you are taking uh, the photo at this point. So uh, this, uh, this is the area that has been covered in your photo. So this area, say it is a rectangle of dimensions capital X and capital Y whereas in our photo it is going to be small x and small y will not if this is going to be 10 meters this will be around 1 centimeter depending upon the height at which we have taken the photo whenever we are flying we will get the height only in uh, with respect to our msl whereas for uh, the calculation of the um, vertical photogrammetry we need only the flying height which means we have to subtract this height from the height that we will get from the contour maps so uh, this is the land this is only the land this is your mean sea level and this height you have to eliminate from this to get the flying height and f is the focal length whenever you buy a camera uh, they will specify the focal length of the camera so from this we can uh, establish this formula the small x by capital x is equal to small y by capital y which is equal to the focal length of the uh, camera divided by the flying height this is the formula which you have to keep in mind when it comes to vertical photogrammetry now in order to understand it better let us uh, go through one example this was asked in gate 2018 for two marks a square area on earth with a side 100 meter and uniform height appears as one centimeter square on a vertical aerial photograph the topographic map shows that contour of 650 meter passes through the area if focal length of the camera lens is 150 mm the height from which the aerial photograph was taken is what there are, there are four options so first the square area with a side of 100 meter assume that this is a, a square and not a rectangle so now this is going to be 100 and this is also 100 but this is appearing in the photograph as 1 centimeter and 1 centimeter so now we have got our x and uh, y small x small y capital x cap, uh, capital y so my uh, small x is uh, le uh, in this either one is enough i'm going to take small x since it's a square both the values will give the same answer so small x is uh, one centimeter since it is one centimeter square i can uh, understand that it is one centimeter one centimeter which will give me an area of one centimeter square so my x is one centimeter my capital x is uh, it appears to be 100 meters so my capital x is 100 meters say i'm converting this to centimeters so x by x is equal to 1 centimeter divided by 10,000 centimeters so now i have x by x i know the focal length they have given the focal length as 150 mm so uh, focal length is 150 mm i'm going to write it as 15 centimeter so now everything is in centimeters i know that the formula is small x by capital x is equal to f divided by h minus h i have my small x i have my capital x i have my f i need to find h and uh, my small h is given as my contour height is 650 meters this is 650 meters so on substituting i will get 1 by 10,000 is equal to uh, focal length is 15 centimeters divided by height my unknown minus the small height which is 650 meters I'm going to write 650 meters in centimeters which will be 65,000 minus 65,000 on cross multiplying I'll get h minus 65,000 is equal to 1 lakh 50,000 so h is equal to this plus this which will be 
टू वन फाइव जीरो 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 सेंटीमीटर्स माय आंसर इन मीटर्स विल बी टू वन फाइव जीरो मीटर्स इट्स विल बी माय ऑप्शन सी सो नेक्स्ट गोइंग टू दिस रिलीफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट सो इन वर्टिकल फोटोग्रामेट्री देयर इज नो पैरामीटर दैट इंडिकेट्स द हाइट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट दैट वी हैव फोटोग्राफ वेर एस इन रिलीफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट it is also a vertical photograph but here the height is also included say uh, the this is the tower uh, and its height is h and this is my plane and from here i'm taking the photo uh, so as usual and uh, um, like the previous case this is going to be the msl and this is going to be the height contour height this is the ground level in order to find the height of the object I have to take relief displacement into account. So how will we find this relief displacement? Now uh, these lines, right? These this plus symbol. This is called as the principal plane, and uh, the r r and r one they are the radial distances from the principal plane. So now uh, this line which corresponds to the bottom of the tower, and this line corresponds to the top of the tower. So uh, the radial distance. Which corresponds to the bottom of the tower is R, and the radial distance which corresponds to the top of the tower is R1. And the difference between R1 and R gives me my relief displacement. In order to find your relief displacement, you have to either know the difference between these two radial distances, or else you can uh, find it using this formula, which is commonly used. The formula is H, which is the height of the tower. Into R one, R one is uh, the radial distance corresponding to the tip of the tower. I mean the top of the tower, and h minus h average, which is the uh, flying distance. So this is how we'll find the relief displacement. To understand it better, let us uh, go through one problem now. A tall tower was photographed from an elevation of seven hundred meter above the datum. The radial distances of the top and the bottom of the tower from the principal points are. uh this and this respectively if the bottom of the tower is at an elevation of 250 meters above the datum then the height of the tower is what so uh from this we can the radial distances have been given so it can be clearly understood that uh, this problem includes relief displacement the concept of relief displacement so uh, let us Uh, come once again a tall tower was photographed from an elevation of 700 meters above the datum so uh, this is my datum and uh, the photo it was photographed about 700 meters so my h is going to be 700 meters above the datum that is your mean sea level and the radial distances from uh, the radial distances of the top and bottom of the tower Uh, from the principal points are so and so so this is my radial distance from the top and bottom they have given so my r1 is 112.5 mm my r2 is 82.4 mm so when i have i mean my r i'm sorry my r just r when i have my r and r1 what can i find i can find my relief displacement but that is not the question they have asked if the bottom of the tower is at an elevation of 250 meter above the datum which means my h average is 250 meters above the datum then the height of the tower is what they have asked the height of the tower so now we know that uh, relief displacement from we know the formula relief displacement is equal to height of the tower into the radial distance corresponding to the top of the tower divided by h minus h average now in order to find d we have to find the difference between r1 and r it is equal to 30.1 mm so now substituting in this formula 30.1 mm is equal to height of the tower is your unknown into radial distance r1 which is 112.5 divided by um, h minus h average the total height is 700 meters minus h average is 250 meters so now uh, we can see that this is in millimeter this is in millimeter uh, whereas uh, these two are in meters 
you don't have to worry that these two uh, everything is in different uh, units this can be rewritten as 30.1 divided by 112.5 millimeter by millimeter is equal to h which will get we will get in meters divided by 700 minus 250 which is 450 meters so now millimeter millimeter it will cancel and now i'll get my answer in meters so you don't have to worry that we haven't substituted it in the same uh, units so on solving we'll get that h is equal to that is the height of the tower is equal to 120.4 meters i made a small mistake it's 450 meters so uh, my answer is 120.4 meters from these two topics in the past three years they have been asking at least two marks so make sure that you learn these topics very well see you guys in the next video bye